Ray had managed a decade in Scottish banking. The same old battles to be fought, but they hadn't felt like her battles. She couldn't be bothered with the taxonomy of the Edinburgh private school system, and she hated being lumped with the West Coast wide boys who still dressed like Gordon Gecko. For Ray, success was always tied to her rival's capacity to trigger her street fighter's instincts. It was her bad luck that the bank she joined in Glasgow had been staffed almost entirely by democratically inclined Scots. Without her grudge against the English upper middle classes, she was nothing, so she got out. If every Scottish PR had been a Jackie or Tricia in magic pants and hot stuff lipstick, she would never have progressed beyond launching helium balloons and lunching local radio DJs. But she had enough self-knowledge to seek out the Sophies and Amandas who'd gone to Cayley classes in South Ken and migrated north to nab some barber-clad James or Archie, the sort of woman who moved with a cultish sway and trip and tossed their long manes, driving the hair back from their foreheads with thumb and second finger. Ray had bought them jugs of mojito just to listen to their tortured vowels, to watch them flinch when she said serviette, and ambition had been born out of her loathing.